Synopsis of the Books of the Bible. Acts. By J. N. Darby. New Testament. The Book of Acts. Chapter 11 verse 19 to Chapter 11 verse 30. The New Order of Things Distinguishing Paul's Ministry. Acts 11:19 begins the narration of the new order of things by which the ministry of Paul is distinguished. Among those who were scattered abroad on the occasion of Stephen's death, and who went as far even as Antioch preaching the Lord Jesus, there were some who, being men of Cyprus and Cyrene, were more habitually connected with Greeks. They addressed the Greeks therefore in this ancient capital of the Seleucidae, and many received their word and turned to the Lord. The assembly at Jerusalem, already prepared through the conversion of Cornelius, by which God had shown them the entering in of the Gentiles, accept this event also and send Barnabas, himself a man of Cyprus, to Antioch. A good man and filled with the Holy Ghost, his heart is full of joy on seeing this work of the grace of God, and much people is added unto the Lord. Barnabas and Saul at Antioch, a local assembly formed composed primarily of Gentiles distinct from, but linked with, Jerusalem. As yet all is linked with the work at Jerusalem, although extending now to the Gentiles. Barnabas, apparently no longer sufficient for the work and at all events led of God, departs in search of Saul, who had gone to Tarsus when they sought to kill him at Jerusalem. And these two meet with the assembly at Antioch, teaching many people. Still, everything takes place in connection with Jerusalem, when some prophets come down and announce a famine. The links between the flock and Jerusalem as a center are shown and strengthened, by the sending of relief to that religious metropolis of Judaism, and of Christianity looked at as having its commencement in the Jewish remnant who believed in Jesus as the Christ. Barnabas and Saul are themselves charged with this service, and go up to Jerusalem to accomplish it. This circumstance carries us back to Jerusalem, where the Spirit has still something to show us of the ways of God.